So Pastor Mike Ziganelli has a wealth of information about sleep paralysis. And if you have suffered from sleep paralysis, as I had, it's suffocating, it's it, it's a, quite a dilemma, and it's spiritual in nature. This is for a mature audience, by the way. I'm going to link it in the description box below. This isn't going to take very long because his counseling and description of it is going to say everything that you need to know about sleep paralysis. If you, again, have suffered, you're going to get the benefit of listening to his teaching and his, um, basically his prayer and the information that he's going to share about it. Now, I just want to share quickly. I haven't had sleep paralysis in years. Now, at 19 years old, I suffered extreme sleep paralysis. This is when I started praying. Uh, my dad would pray over me. It would I would stiffen up and I would be in a sleep, my REM cycle, and the sleep paralysis would begin. And I would be in my dream state. It would interrupt my sleep. It, I was being suffocated in my sleep. At, and the, I, at the time, I didn't know it was sleep paralysis. I was just petrified by the experience. So he goes into explaining about shamanism, witch, witchcraft, uh, remote viewing, uh, all the stuff that's involved that, that could be a contributor to sleep paralysis. It's just a few points I'm making, but he goes into it much deeper and you might want to know where this is coming from if you suffer from sleep paralysis. So I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you for watching and God bless you.